Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all? So, welcome to Daily Race B, the uh, GR4 cars. Now, as you can see, um, we are running in the uh, GTR, and we are currently on fourth on the uh, on the on the starting grid. So, hopefully, we can have a good race from here. Now, I think our quickest time was a one. 46.7, I think it was. It is now a lot quicker than that. We have uh, pumped it up last night. But uh, I am going to let in a little bit of a spoiler that the penalty system did cost us the win. That's for sure. But it didn't cost us too much um, where, where we finish wise. So, as you can see, literally there, we forget to change gears straight away. So, it kind of puts us in a bit of a dull part of trying to get up this, uh, this car ahead of us quite close for the corner. But, as you can see, we are gathering up the speed now. We do get into the slip now, but obviously I wanted to be in it a little bit earlier. So we go slightly defensive here just to make sure people don't lunge. As you can see, the McLaren there is going. The Porsche is going. Uh, they all go to go up the inside there. So through Ben 1, we get through safely. Still sat in fourth. Very close now to, uh, to third place. And I didn't know what his braking situation was there. I normally break on about 80 meters into that corner. And I normally take the curb as well, which I completely avoided the curb there. So, you know, all looking nice. Uh, nice little angle here. Let's, uh, let's have a look what's going on in the background. As you can see, the, uh, the German goes wide there. Uh, first place and second place is definitely battling as well. Sorry, did I say German? Spanish. Um, so, here we go then. We're coming down into the first chicane. And how are we going to defend it? I think we go defensive, yeah. So we don't go for the lunge. Uh, I just wanted to block anyone that likes to go up that inside. And as you see, as you come down into the rear there, there's, there's two people right up our backside uh, and actually make contact with us. So as you can see, this is a very, very testing map uh, for a lot of people that don't really drive in the, uh, in the best classes, guys. So you've really got to be aware of what's going on behind you as much as what's going on in front of you. Now, as you see here, these guys are starting to play... Uh, nicely with each other, which is nice because that means the uh, the first four we can start splitting away from the pack. Now, as you can see, as we come out the corner, we get a we get a good run out this corner. I think like we we're, we're going to be up amongst them coming down into turn one as we complete the first lap. We're just building up that speed. Obviously, the GTR on a straight line is awful, but going around the corners is beautiful. So that's why I picked the GTR for this race. Uh, completely basic uh, settings as well. I've not, I've not mapped it or anything like that. So as you can see here, we take this corner, lovely. We actually get a good run again onto uh, onto Auto here. Now I actually did say to Auto in the chat that we were Team UK because we were the only two Brits in here. So we, we kind of went as teammates. So we gave a lot of racing room to him and, and he did uh, vice versa as well. So it was nice to see some good racing in this, uh, this lap here. So as you go, he goes a little bit wide there. So we get, we have to tap our brakes a little bit, but we still run good through it. And as you can see here, right, they have a little bit of a collision. We go up the inside, and we unfortunately, we get the penalty, as you can see now, we get the penalty for that, for um, for Condor coming back on the track. And and, and that's really unfortunate. That's a, that's a race changer right there. So as you can see, automatically, I'm kind of annoyed. I'm looking for the inside. I thought, no, we'll pull out. We'll, we'll just we'll stick to it normal. As you see there, I get absolutely rear-ended again for the second time in that corner. Um, but we do manage to take the third position from him. Now, as you see again, we get a fantastic line through here. Now, we also realized that Auto takes that pretty wide and cuts in pretty tight. So there is an opportunity, if we do get close to Auto again in that position, that we can actually get the overtake there. And again, he goes super wide on this final corner here before the straight. Now, we've got the, the second penalty, guys, which I really feel like that is harsh. So let me know in the comment section if you believe that was a penalty or not. I feel like I kind of got involved in something that I, I should never have got involved with. But we drop back into uh, fourth. You know, Thankfully, the, the cars behind us had about uh, five second penalties as well amongst them all. So we only dropped the one place. But we are now defending going into turn one. And this is a nasty corner. And as you see, the Lambo goes flying up the inside. The Ferrari goes flying up the inside. Now, if you look here, the Ferrari's left wheel actually catches dirt, sends them off. There's a little replay coming up here. Like, we had nothing to do with that, thank goodness. And luckily, we didn't hit him either. 
Uh, but that puts us back up into fifth. Now, we are racing the Italian here. And I did realise the Italian was quite dirty early on as well. So, we get a good line through here. He's got that second penalty. So, I don't want to be uh, mixing with him as much as I would if he didn't have a penalty. Because I know I can get that position just at the end of this lap. But I also don't want to be going too slow for, uh, for everyone else to catch us. And, and we lose first, second, and third. So there you go, we go a little bit uh, slower through the corner. He's holding us up, definitely for sure. Uh, do we make a decision to overtake him down here? I think we do. As you can see here, doesn't give us the racing room, turns right into us. So we break at our normal braking distance, shut the door on him. As you see, he cuts the corner and gets put back. Now that's fantastic for us because we won't deal with him for the entire length of this race now. Um, so dirty racing guys really does not benefit and that was as dirty as it got in this race so now we are playing catch up there's no pits we're all on the same tires racing hard and uh, yeah now now we need to break away from uh, from fifth place and try and get our podium finished now remember the last video we finished on the podium in the GR3 daily race group C I think it is so that was fantastic for our first ever wheel, um, wheel race. Obviously, this is our first time on the GR4 circuit. So, hopefully, we can pick up a back-to-back -back podium um, without any spoils. Um, that penalty definitely costs us the win, though. So, as you see, we go a little bit late break in here. We try and pick up some of this gap between ourselves and third. Now, unfortunately, first place is mile. I say miles ahead, but he's a good few seconds ahead with no one uh, challenging him. So second and third, I could ideally do with those two catching each other up and start battling. Now we are on the final lap. We're about half, half of the lap through. Um, so if they're gonna tangle, they have to tangle very, very soon so that I can have a chance and opportunity to catch up. I know this, this is why I'm going into corners a little bit faster than what I should do. This one here definitely should have tucked up a lot cleaner. Um, as you see here now, so we got no pressure behind us. We're not defending for the uh for the chicane down here which again as we have a little look back there he's not close enough to make any sort of lunge um so we, we can go wide and come in short as we do there perfect line through up into second gear as we just made that uh, right hand turn now again as you see auto takes that long sweeping left to right slows him down but unfortunately there's not enough bends i don't think preferred to take any sort of opportunity on that there now we are really really close and probably if we had one more lap we would have stealed at second as well as you can tell we were definitely on the back end of them towards the end of the race uh, unfortunately we do push it a little bit harder there on the final bend just so that we could get a good exit out and if we did take half a second it wasn't going to affect our fifth to fourth place so we did try it uh, obviously it, it didn't benefit for us and uh, we cross the line in fourth, guys. But with that one second penalty, that is a game changer. I feel like we could have definitely been on first. Uh, if not, we would have been 100% second with the race. And bear in mind, we got stuck in traffic as well with that Italian um, on lap three. So, unfortunately, the race did uh, did cost us. The game did cost us the, uh, the race there. But leave in the comment section, guys, how the racing's been going for you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.